Good morning, guys. I hope most of you are enjoying spring break like me. I wanted to get this week's classroom power tool out to you early so that you'll have time to look at it this week and figure out how you can use it in your own classroom because it's a really great one and one that I find really useful in our classroom. Um, this week's classroom power tool is Padlet. Padlet is not new. Uh, it used to be called Wall Wisher. It's a really, really great tool for students to learn how to collaborate and how to share their thoughts with others and do it digitally and not have to say it out loud if that makes sense. So I'm going to show you real quick how to, how real quick, it's really early in the morning so my brain is not working. Um, I'm going to show you really quickly how to create a new Padlet. I'm just going to click new Padlet and it's basically just a digital bulletin board that looks like this and you can change lots of things about it. You can change the background so we're going to change the wallpaper. I'm just going to choose blueprint. And you can add questions. You can put a question at the top. So if I wanted to say, share your thoughts about today's lesson. And then the students can come in and when they click twice, they simply, they could put their name. So if I wanted to put Andy and then share, I thought, or I could say I struggled with the second part of the lesson today and would like to learn more because we know so many of our students would say that right <laughs> would like to learn more and then after I do that it's there for everybody to see and they can move that around wherever they want but what's great about this is when you are finished when you're ready to share it out after you've set your padlet up and you're ready for your students to collaborate and leave their information on there you can go to address you simply click the address and you share that out with your students so what I do is I get the address I share that out on Edmodo they go and click it, it takes them to the Padlet and they can leave their information. You can even create a custom address for your Padlet. So I'm gonna share with you guys a couple of Padlets that we've done in the past. This is our most recent one. Um, we work on Genius Hour, so many of my students are looking for outside experts. And so we created a Health Wanted wall and we made it look like a bulletin board. And so each student posted the name of their project and what type of expert they were looking for. And as we did that, we started hearing back from people because you can see that we, con we um, connected a Google Doc to each post so that an expert that, was, that wanted to share with us could just click on that Google form, fill it out, sends us an email to let them know that they've connected with us, and then I respond to them and set up a time for them to meet with my students. But such a great way to find people to help, with, to help and meet with your students and do whatever you need them to do. Um, but what's great about this is I just... Um, copied the address, I shared it out on Twitter, shared it out on Facebook, had lots of friends share it out, and we have heard people from we have heard from people all over the United States that are willing to help and Skype with us um, so that we can get our projects completed and my students can learn more about whatever it is that they're studying. We also did um, a Padlet on, I don't know if it's on here, um, here's one that I did with a group of adults and we were talking about collaboration and what it means to us. And so you can see that they all posted um, what they thought about collaboration. And then some even shared images and just to show how we could do that. So very cool collaboration tool. Padlet is so easy to use. You can get in there and play around with it and do so many different things. And as you have your Padlets, you can see that it'll save them all so you can refer back to them in the past. But students love this. If they all had their own Chromebook or if you don't have a set of Chromebooks or something that they can use, Padlet is even something you could set up over on your desktops and that they could go over and do, you know, sometime during class today, you need to go respond on the Padlet to the question that I've put at the top. So lots of different options, lots of great ways to um, collaborate with each other. If you're using Padlet, feel free to share how you're doing that in the comment section. Um, or if you start using it and you see the power of this tool, feel free to report on that as well. I hope you all have a great week. I hope this power tool, I hope that you find this useful and that it's something you can use in your own classroom. So check out Padlet.com and I will be in touch next week.